the Chicago Pro. What do you think happened at the Chicago Pro? I, I, I just think I got completely. I, they did. They honestly, they didn't even want to look at me. I did not get yeah. looked at because even when they put me in the second car, they pushed me to the end. And when you're at the end, you know they're not looking at you. This is your last year. This is you. You retired now, and this is your last experience. Is the last taste in your mouth of bodybuilding, being a competitive athlete, and you have to walk away like this with this, yeah. this kind of distaste for. Uh, right. You know, I honestly there... wish I had. You know. One person, I mean, I'm not going to say his name. I mean, he coached me when I moved here in Florida. And, you know, he's a big time promoter now. And I thought he would at least reach out to me and yeah. talk. You know, somebody could reach out to me and talk yeah. to me because, you know, I was considering doing the Masters. Uh, no. I know in 2021, uh, when I was battling Ian and I, and I took second, you know, we questioned it. He was backstage okay. and he said, too bad you're not 10 years, you know, 10 years younger. And I'm like, wow, yeah. but come to Texas, <laughs> you know? And okay. then I go to Texas with a much better package. Yeah. And I took third and I asked him again, oh, you got to bring up your hamstrings from the back. So why didn't you tell me this in Tampa? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I just think that Tyler didn't, I think it's really the, the, the third place call out, it really sits heavy on my heart that I believe Tyler Mannion just did not want to look at me. Right, guys welcome back to another episode of muscle discord and man we have very special guest back on the show for the third time ifbb pro phil klahar man welcome back to the show thank you very much for having me well man so a lot's happened since we we last spoke uh mm -hmm. the last time we spoke it was right before you were going to the mr olympia and you were you're excited man you were pumped you're going to the olympia stage and you, you got there and I think you admit you wasn't your best package at the Olympia stage, but we already no. kind of went over that. So you, that you finished a year there and then went back to the drawing board and then you got ready for the Chicago pro for this year. Yes. And, um, uh, so tell me first, before we get into everything, cause I, I know we're going to get in, get into it, but what did you and your coach do to get you guys ready for the Chicago Pro after the Olympia and what you experienced there and what you needed to, to work on? Well, the, the only thing we really did, we didn't really change much around. Uh, the only thing that was required was a little bit more cardio, which, I mean, I expected that, you know, I'm older. Um, and uh, we didn't drop the carbs as dramatic, but I mean, well, I kind of miscalculated because we do weighted carbs. We don't do yeah. straight up carbs. So the only thing that's straight up is the cream of rice in the morning. Um, so we did probably about 100, 120 grams of uh, weighed carbs, which basically comes out to almost 25 grams of carbs. But at the end of the day, I was doing about 50 grams of carbs a day. Um, okay. That's the only thing I could say change. The carbs just went down more. Once again, you know, when you're older, getting in shape, it, it, it's not that easy. So, you, you know, you have to really suck it up and, and suffer a little bit. Other than that, we had put on the necessary uh, muscle we needed. Um, actually, my body... Uh, overall was way better than the previous year. I, I don't know what happened. My, my, I had a full chest. Normally, I think last year when I won the Orlando Pro, I still had a little bit of skin on even my chest. Um, that was gone. Uh, I mean, we went into the Chicago fully loaded and, and uh, really, really ready to go. Uh, yeah. Condition was on point. I, sure. Honestly, we are we matched up a Chicago pitcher and the Orlando pitcher, and we blew out. We blew away the Orlando show. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I, so let's just show the the audience here. Um, so this is uh, Orlando. Yes. Last year, right? And you won the show. Let's just remind people you won the Orlando Pro last year, first place. Okay. So that's going to give some context about going into what happened this year. It's shocking. Okay. So, um, and great package here. Okay. Obviously, you, you won that show. And then we did the Tampa Pro. 
No, uh, okay. not Tampa, Chicago. Chicago. Is sure, Tampa. sorry, sorry, uh, Chicago. But I got I got the Tampa Pro here as well. And um, to me, what I noticed right away, your lats are bigger from that from the the front double bicep at the Orlando Pro. Your lats aren't as flaring, so you somehow got bigger in your back, which is your best body part for sure. I would say your back is a dominant body part. Um, different lighting, different stage. So everything's always going to look a little bit different. You can't, yeah. you know, so that factors in a little bit. Um, Chicago pro, what was your weight on the Olympia stage and then versus what you ended up at, at Chicago? The Olympia stage, man, we, we, we dropped a little bit. My body was going more in the negative, um, at the hotel because such a long prep. So I want to say it was, a uh, about 256. 257, something like that. Orlando was 260. Yeah. Um, this year I came in smaller, which was crazy. Um, there I was about two, almost 251, because I was in the low 249. So we uh, carved up and got to about 251. Um, I mean, wow. I, I don't even see, you know what I mean? And I took 13th there and I couldn't understand at all how okay. you know, I took 13. Okay, so let's 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 start with Chicago Pro. Now, to me, you look tighter here, maybe more fuller and this more polished here than you did at the Tampa Pro. But the Tampa lighting is different as well. Here yeah. there's more there's shine on you. It's pol it just pops much better here. You look very tight here. So yeah. Okay, so you you go on, go on stage at the Chicago Pro. I was doing the live stream and I was we were, I was watching with subscribers and everything. And I'm like, okay, Phil's out there, your first call out. And then you're, I'm like, and I saw you walk out and do the individual. And I'm like, okay, yeah, first call out for sure. Doesn't happen. And then the second call out, I don't think you were even in the second call out, if I can remember. Um, yeah, yeah, I was in the second, I was second in the, call out. I was in the second call out, yeah. Second call out. And then I'm like, okay, why, why isn't Phil, why aren't they giving him a, just a, a comparison, do a top six or a top five, whatever. They just kind of just completely skipped over you and just tossed you to the second call out. And, and, that, and that was the end of it. So 13th plate at the Chicago Pro. What do you think happened at the Chicago Pro? I, I, I just think I got completely. I, they did. They Honestly, they didn't want to look at me. I did not get yeah. looked at because even when they put me in the second call, out, they pushed me to the end. And when you're at the end, you know, they're not looking at you. I honestly, I was very, very shocked at the Chicago Pro, especially coming off, in my personal opinion, a very successful year following. Uh, we came in condition. We came in shape. We weren't flat. You know, I was told, quote, end quote, by someone that I was a little fat, flat. He needs to carve up. No, that was not mm -mm, the case. Not here, but, no. no. Um, I, I, you know, right. so, somebody very close to me was like, after they saw the show, they said they're trying to push you out. And I didn't want to believe it. I did not want to believe it. I said, it's no way they would do this to me. You know, not after coming off of last year. And as much as I really promote the sport of bodybuilding outside of competing, I said, and, you know, I earned my stripes. It's no way. Yeah. He said, I'm telling you, you're not going to do well at Tampa. And I was like, well, I always do well at Tampa. I don't, I've always placed in the top 10, in the top six in Tampa. Always. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was not expecting that to happen. But it set in once that happened in Tampa. The person that told me, I was like, you're right. They're trying to push me out either into the Masters or whatever. And it, it was hurtful. It was hurtful. So, but I don't understand if they were thinking of pushing you out. How do you place first last year at the Orlando Pro? I, I don't understand. Like, to me, I'm trying to think, okay, what are the judges thinking? Let's like, get him out of here. He's, 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 he's an older bodybuilder now. We don't. You know, that's that that's around. honestly, you know, that's really what I think it is. They just want to be focused on the younger competitors, even though I improved <laughs> every year. So there's no logistic, that's legitimate true. reason for them to do that. I can see yeah. if there was a case and they said, listen, Phil, you know, you're, you're starting to fade a little bit. You know, you might want to think about. But the thing is, it's like Chicago. Patty went to ask Steve Weinberger and he just snapped on her. Not now. It's not good. Oh. And, you know, he never does that. He's never, yeah. ever been like that. And, yeah, Chicago, I didn't understand. That was a first call out from the side, glutes. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. <laughs> the only thing I can come up with is they just 
didn't want to look at me and they wanted me to leave. And that's all I could say. Or else they would have gave me my shot to compare with the top, you know, six guys. Yeah, you're so full here. Good back double bicep. I don't know why they didn't at least give you a shot. Um, especially knowing that I think they know that this is your last this was your last year uh competing. And to to give you that shot and to give you that comparison with the the new the newcomers, the newbies in the sport um that you've beat last year. So it's a, it is a little bit of a sour taste. I could see that uh would leave in your mouth and um uh going through that experience. And was was it this show or was it the Tampa where you didn't come back? It was a Tampa because them telling me I had to be fuller. Now we push the fullness and less crispness for Tampa. Mm -hmm. yeah. But even if you look at my Tampa shots, even Chicago, even my Tampa shots, if you look at my waist compared to Orlando, my waist is small. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so we came in a little fuller. And of course, I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of conditioning because I wanted to just, they're saying I'm not full enough. <laughs> yeah. So I come in a little fuller, less crisp, but I didn't deserve a third call out. I mean, I'm standing next no. to pro debut athletes. It, it was just insulting. It was a dagger, yeah. you know, and, you know, when I, I sat there, when they put me in the third, and I was like, wow. And then once I got, I wanted to walk off, but, you know, I mean, I got too much, you know, I, you know, I mean, I got too much respect for myself yeah. to do that when they did that. So after we got done, they were like, everybody come back 10. And I was like, I'm done. I said, I'm retired right now. I'm not coming yeah. back. Uh, to wave, put on more tan and just come to wave and do a couple poses now. Yeah. Okay. So, and there's a comparison. You're standing to Nate. Nate beat you as well. I mean. Nate even looked good. Him. Nate yeah. looked good too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got pushed down. He was doing good last year and and, and now he's being I mean, pushed down in second call outs now. So it's, it's you know what, it's, ha it's not just happening to you. It's happened to other guys too that were in the top five at other shows. Nate was doing that last year and now he's kind of going back down into the second call out. So, But if you look at last year, I mean, I don't want to name any names, yeah. but there was one or two shows where a very high profile name was in the top six and honestly, he should have been in the third call out. So uh, he's not a young puppy either. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He just has probably a more recognized name than me. But, you know, I've seen them, the respect thing. I've seen him say, you know, listen, he's, he's put his time in. You know, we're not going to really just put him where probably he really needs to be. So just put him in the, you know, the top six and we'll leave it at that. And yes. that's what I'm just trying to process. I like even looking at this picture, mm -hmm. the, the muscularity, the density, the size. And yes. that's the lineup I got put in, you yeah. know? So... It is what it is. Yeah, uh, I I had I had you. Based on what I saw, you could have been in that top six, right? And yeah, I think you would have been happy being in in that top six, um, especially well, yeah. for your last for your last uh, show. Martin was at that show, and I heard Martin yeah. told somebody that Phil is in the top six. And when I came in, I That's did my I, my uh, well, I was supposed to get sixty seconds. The young lady cut me off at forty. Yeah, That's where I noticed things was not going to be good when she basically cut me. And yeah. doing my 60 second um uh, routine and she cut me at 40 seconds it, that was very a little bit embarrassing but i walked off yeah yeah man so now that uh let's we'll stop the sh screen share here so now that uh you've gotten through let me change this back here through these two shows and you've had this it's kind of unfortunate because this is your last year this is you you're retired now and this is your last experience is the last taste in your mouth of bodybuilding being a competitive athlete and you have to walk away like this with this, yeah. this kind of distaste for it, right you know, i honestly there... wish i had you know one person i mean i'm not gonna say his name i mean he coached me when i moved here in florida and you know he's a big time promoter now and i thought he would at least reach out to me and yeah. Talk, you know, somebody could reach out to me and talk yeah. to me because you know I was considering doing the masters, but unless somebody talks to me and let me understand why, because you know, I was telling my wife, I said, Listen, we go in here, we do good. I take second or third in Tampa, we're going to go to Texas because we love the promoters out there. Yes, you know, what I mean, I'll push it for another show and go to Texas, you know. But, um, dude, man, I, I, I love this sport. I, I mm -hmm. from, from day one, I, even as an amateur, I've never been in a third, not, not amateur, but my first year. My first pro show, I don't think I ever saw a third call out. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't know what they were trying to do. I wish somebody would reach out to me and explain it to make me understand. But I can just go off of what me being in the sport and what I've seen from from uh, Chicago and then being worse with yeah. the same lineup, except for probably five guys that were all new to the lineup yeah. uh, to be worse. I mean, yeah, it, it's a bitter taste. It's very hurtful. But, you know, at the end of the day, the love I got from social media, man, was yes. over freaking whelming. So yeah. that made me rest at peace with the fact that at least I inspired, you know, a lot of people. Uh, Samson Dowder reached out to me, yeah. you know, uh, Derek Lunford, you know, a lot of these top guys. And, That's you know, awesome. this all that matters, the impact that I left is all yes. that matters for me. Yeah. And and you mentioned that and um, the, the love that you were receiving from everyone after you kind of did the retirement post and everything. Um, so at least that side of the sport is good. Um, and you know, the camaraderie is there for sure in, in bodybuilding amongst, amongst the athletes that is, and yeah. if you could ask the, the IFBB, you know, one question or tell them something, what would you want to say to them about your The experience? only thing I want to know is why I, I honestly, I don't want a, a cover up uh on truth just be honest listen i'm a very honest guy anyone can reach out to me it's not like i'm gonna sit here call me because i know how they are they don't want to leave no trail with no no texting and no typing and stuff and email stuff like that i respect that but someone could have call, called me and spoke to me but i truly believe i mean i reached out to i reached out to one judge um mm -hmm. and he basically said uh you weren't as good as orlando and i'm saying to myself the hell i wasn't but you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It's it's they're not going to give me the straight up answer. I don't yeah. I don't think I'm going to get one, you know. And I'm saying to myself, yeah, I was better than Orlando. Smaller weights, I was much bigger. I was tighter. A lot of the um, even in the in the glute area in Orlando, when I squeezed, when I should have pushed out, it, you saw line. So there was yeah. some flaws in, in the Orlando show that I corrected coming into these shows. But you know, out of respect, it made me feel better as as a, a pro athlete. Just say, you know, just talk to me. You know, um, I know uh, two years ago when I did Chicago, Steve was honest. Um, mm -hmm. And he said, listen, you, you were overlooked. I took 11th. I, I don't get love in Chicago for some reason. Yeah. And I took 11th. And trust me, you look at the pictures, I didn't. So he said, honestly, Phil, you were overlooked. We'll see yeah. you in Tampa because you do well in Tampa. That's what I'm talking about is yeah. to talk to me. Just you know, this time around, not even one person. Not even, The only thing I know is that we, me and Patty did a podcast uh, last week, and we brought up some questionable uh, things with the show, as in um, how they don't rejudge. So, you know, when athletes, regardless of the third cause or whatever, things can change the following night. So they don't rejudge. They basically make you come and wave. Or um, there was another thing, because they fixed it in Texas. We was like, hold up, we were sp speaking about this, and all of a sudden, they're doing yeah. what we spoke about in Texas. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, Give these guys, we're professionals, give us a fair shot. Regardless if we're in a third call us, we could still come in tighter and do better. But instead, they don't rejudge. We just wave, do a couple poses, and leave. Okay, so they, they're just judging the, the pre-judging, they're not judging the finals anymore? Or is it just... They they only judge the top, top they're not rejudging everybody. Okay. You know? yeah, and then okay. I think we asked after Chicago, we emailed the IFBB, and we said, can we get the judge's name and emails? And mm -hmm. they refused. But when we did the podcast, Tim reached out and gave all the judges emails and names. You get what I'm saying? So somebody's okay. watching the podcast yes. and they're trying to say, no, we do it. We're trying to correct it as they go yeah. on in the shows. But, I mean, that's good for the new competitors and everybody that haven't competed earlier that this is happening. But Texas, they let everybody come back and they all rejudge them all over again. Okay. And that's, that's how it should be done. That's how it should be done. That's why you have the, the prejudging in the finals. Like, why have these two different... Um, sections of the show if you're not going to rejudge the finals yeah like just, and you know just it's interesting because everybody was saying why are you on a score cheese for the finals and you didn't come back i said i have yeah. no idea probably they were you know giving me that respect <laughs> at yeah. that time when they noticed i didn't come back they're probably like oh shit you know i don't know but yeah. normally it's you know it did not finish it's normally what you'll get uh, yes on the poor scorecard if you don't come back but D who was the head judge was it was it tyler or was it 
The it, it was both of them. It, it's it, when when both of them are together. It's it's really honestly to be. Oh. I don't mean to be disrespectful. It's really Tyler. If if it's both of them, yeah. Tyler holds seniority. It's really Tyler. Um, and you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I could eat. I, I I have case to say Tyler. I never did anything to the guy. Um, no. I know in twenty twenty one. Uh, when I was battling Ian and I and I took second, you know, we questioned it. He was backstage okay. and he said, too bad you're not 10 years, you know, 10 years younger. And I'm like, wow, yeah. but come to Texas, <laughs> you know, and okay. then I go to Texas with a much better package. Yeah. And I took third and I asked him again, oh, you got to bring up your hamstrings from the back. So why didn't you tell me this in Tampa? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I. Yeah, I, I, I just think that Tyler didn't. I think it's really the, the, the third place call out. It really sits heavy on my heart. But I believe Tyler Mannion just did not want to look at me. He's really about the younger athletes. He really is. That's what it's all about. And it's about making money, which I understand it's a business. But, um, yeah, I think uh, that, that call was from Tyler. Yeah, so it, it, Tyler does the recaps. But if you're in the third call out, he's probably not. Oh, we're going to lost you there for a second. See if we get him back, guys. Connection. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's funny. We may... <laughs> I'm joking with Patty. We mentioned Tyler's name in the computer. It just goes right out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. We're good. Okay. That's easy. No problem. Okay. So we were talking about uh, Tyler judging the show. Um, yeah. You said the recap. He did a recap. Yeah. He usually does. Sorry. Yes. Good. He, he usually does a recap. He does do the recaps. Any show that he is the head judge of, he does the recap. Um, but I don't think he's going to do a recap of like the, the third call out. No, he no, just he does, does, yeah, just like the, the top, top four, top four or five. So, man, well, um, now I know you mentioned the masters and you said maybe if you hear something from the judges, some feedback, some, something, uh, maybe you'll do, I mean, I hope I'm not putting words in your mouth, but like. Yeah, I know. If, if somebody would reach out to me and really give me an honest explanation, because listen, yeah. I know they're trying to sell tickets. I was a yeah. top three, uh, you know, Max, me, Kamal. I know Kamal's coming back to defend his title, which he okay. rightfully so. But I, we may have some shakeups. I think um, uh, what you call it's going to think about doing it. Uh, he won the, what's his name? De La Rosa is thinking about doing the Masters. Oh, okay. uh, he was interviewing wow. and asking about it.